Hey everyone, I hope y'all are having a great day, and today I'm going to be talking about Booktubeathon. So by now I'm sure everyone knows what Booktubeathon is because it's been blowing up all over the Booktube community. Everyone's posting their videos and sharing what they're going to be reading throughout the Booktubeathon, and basically it's a readathon specifically for the Booktube community. It was created by Raylene over at Pat Foot and Prongs 07 and Ariel Bassett from Ariel Bassett. When I first saw Raylene's video, I was super excited, super pumped for it, and as a new booktuber, I thought this would be a really great way for me to kind of establish myself as a booktuber, hopefully meet some new people along the way, and subscribe to new people, and just make friendships and connections. Yeah, it sounded really fun, it sounded like a blast, even though I'd never participated in a readathon before. But then I started the Summer 2 session of Dual Credit. If you don't know, dual credit is basically when a high schooler takes a college course at a local college that counts for both a high school credit as well as a college credit. And I took it, I took the summer one session and now I'm taking the summer two session and it's taking a lot of time. And on top of that, I do have driver's ed because, you know, a 15 year old girl needs to know how to drive. I don't really have the time to read and I know a lot of people hate when people say that, like, oh, I never have time. I mean, you obviously have time, you just use it for other things, and I use it for the required dual credit as well as driver's ed. So yeah, this summer I haven't been able to read as much as I'd hoped, and I don't see that changing anytime soon, so I might not be able to participate in the Booktubeathon because I'd be too busy, but I really, really hope to because it sounds like so much fun and basically everyone's doing it and I don't want to feel left out. I really, really, really hope I can just sit down and read a few hours every day um, during the Booktubeathon, which I think is from July 15th to July 21st, but don't quote me on that. But anyway, Raylene and Ariel have created these seven challenges that go along with the Readathon, and you can do as many challenges as you want, or none of them at all. It's all up to you. The first challenge is to read an average of 300 pages a day which I am not even going to try to attempt because I'm at the point where reading 20 pages a day is really good. Like, picking up a book at all is good. 300, it's way too big of a stretch for me. I cannot do that right now. So, not even going to attempt that. The second challenge is to read a book over 500 pages long. I do have a book in mind for that, and that book is Grave Mercy by Robin... La Fevers. This is 549 pages, so it's solidly over 500 pages. The third challenge is to reread a book, and this is great for me because I love, love, love rereading books. I just usually don't do it because I want to read newer books, but whatever, I have an excuse to reread things now, and one series that I've really, really been wanting to reread lately is the Harry Potter series, because it's been quite a while since I read those. So if time allows, I do plan on rereading Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling, or Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, if that's what you know it as. The next challenge is to finish a series or a trilogy. Hopefully this will finally get me to finish Requiem by Lauren Oliver. I love the Delirium trilogy, I really do. I just don't know why I keep putting this one off. I know I think I've read like the first 50 pages or so and then I read a different book and I never got back to this one. So I'm glad the Booktubeathon will give me an opportunity to finally finish it. The next challenge is to read a book that's been on your shelf for forever and that's like 30% of my shelves. But I am going to choose one in particular and that is The Second Summer of the Sisterhood by Amber Shares. I remember reading the first one years ago and I presumably liked it because I did buy the sequel. I just never read this, and hopefully I will, soon. Like seriously, I think there's dust between these pages. The next challenge is to listen to an audiobook, and I'm not an audiobook person, never was, I don't think I ever will be, so I just won't be attempting the audiobook challenge. And then the final challenge is to read a classic. I've been wanting to read a lot of different classics for a while now, but I just always choose other books over them for some reason. I think it's because I'm very intimidated by classics. But for this one, I'm definitely going to have to choose The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. Not because I want to read it, but I have to read it this year for Academic Decathlon because this is the literary book of choice, I guess. It's about World War One, which is the 
theme for this year's academic decathlon, so I have to read it either way. Might as well do it during the book tubeathon. So if I do end up having time to participate in the book tubeathon, those are the books that I plan to read. What are the books that you plan to read? I would love to know. Please leave a comment, click like, click subscribe, check out my blog. Any kind of interaction is good. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and happy reading. Bye!